And here I am again. I bought these two here thinking that maybe I would never use it again. You're going to see what this is. But I am. So we're going to install all the rings which are already gapped for each one of the uh, cylinders. We're going to install in our pistons. So we're going to st start by um, installing the number one. We're going to get here, as you see, I don't know if you saw me gapping the rings. So I have each one of those rings. It's a set that came with the Wisco pistons. So we have two, three, four, five and six, right? So I got each one of them to be sure that they were gapped properly for each one of those cylinders and I kept them in the box. Now I open the box number one. I got my uh, combination here, which is also number one. Okay, can you see here? I just wrote a number. Uh, at this point, it could be any, of, any one of those because uh, there's nothing special. Once I install the rings, uh, then I cannot move from cylinder number one to cylinder number six. I could, because I just um, bore the whole, the whole, all the cylinders, so they have the same size. But uh, I mean, since I get the rings on the cylinder number one, cylinder number two, just to be safe, they go on each one of them. Another thing we need to be aware is the position of the rings. So let's go through that. All right, as you see here, uh, there is the position. So we got here the piston and we the piston we put like this and then we're going to start rotating um, and then here the oil expander is going to finish in here which is going to be this side then the bottom um, the bottom uh, gap is going to be that way the top gap this way and you know and blah 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 the engine front means that this is talking like this because the engine front is where this little circle is so this is going to be that way which means everything i'm reading is with this guy in this position okay so first you're going to install the oil expander which is the this groovy one this here looks like a spring and the joint is going to be it's going to end right in here so that's what we are going to do we're gonna get this this guy here. Uh, this is the opening. Where are, we, where are we here? And this one is okay for us to twist. So we are gonna do like this. We're gonna put it down there. I'm not I'm not gonna damage um, anything. I'm just gonna twist a little bit, and it's not going to overlap one to the other. So this is how it goes. So the ends, they touch each other instead of overlapping, okay? And it says for the connection to be in here. So I need to be sure that whatever, here, right in here. So we're gonna leave this in there. Okay, this is what I, what I mean to say. Um, there you go. I think it's upside down. No. Uh, here. So this is incorrect. So you cannot overlap and put on top. Uh, it's going to be butt to butt, right? So that's what we did. And if you look, it looks like that is using more space than it should. Now we have two, the bottom and the top one, right? So it doesn't matter, they are the same size. We don't need to gap them. And what I'm gonna do is, if you look at the instructions, um, the bottom, the bottom goes that way. So the oil gap was here. The bottom will be this way here, all the other way, and around here. So around this oil hole right in here, right? So I flipped it. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna put this here on the bottom I'm gonna put this in there which is right here where it is expected to be well it wants to go to the top first so there you go so I did the top first the only thing is that's the front of the engine and this is the top I need to rotate here I need to rotate just the top the top part okay so now we're gonna put the other one and the other one is here and is all the way to the bottom so I need somehow to be sure that that is going to be on the bottom yep and just twist it um, there you go easy now uh, those two we cannot twist and those if you remember um, the thickest one is the second ring and the other one is the top ring so and usually the shiny one is the the, uh, the top ring okay so we are gonna get the thickest one and we need to see where the there's a letter N or something uh, written in somewhere or see here uh, or a little, a little dot right usually so this is what we have and we need to point the second ring to the front of the engine so the front of the the piston so we're gonna get the front of the piston which is here and we're gonna get this ring I'm not comfortable twisting this I can try though uh, but they are not very they are not made for it there you go so I'm gonna do like this and easy super easy let it go and this is a big big one um, it's pointing to the front and the other one is going to point to the back so they're gonna be the opposite so same thing we're gonna get it look at the letter so the letter is right here of course I need to flip it so I'm gonna do like this so it's easier for me and okay and there you go so that's it that's installed one down I'm gonna change the camera uh, the position I'm gonna do it again just in case I missed something uh, or you missed something um, so we can do that again see this here I guess you can see how how it is so there's a little butt to butt here so you gotta be like this the butts should not um, overlap should be like this and pointing up last one I install like this pointing down first which was incorrect so this is number three cylinder number three um, I'm gonna piston number three I'm gonna do like this and um, so this is where it goes you gotta end in here you gotta join in here so twist it put it in there it just join in here great now you got one of those tiny ones I'm trying to get it here I'm gonna try to put the bottom one first this time I don't know why it doesn't work um, so one thing is this is where it goes now we need to flip it and the bottom should be in here so we are going to start by uh, putting this ring in here I'm gonna twist enough so we can reach the bottom 
boy there you go you gotta kind of twist it a lot there you go but it worked uh, and now the top one which is gonna be to this side here so if you put on top and just drop the ring the ring will kind of conform in there and then you are able to put that in place there you go there you go so they're all good uh, now the second ring which is the thick one ladder up I'm gonna show you the ladder since we are zooming in anyway here close to this finger so we are gonna go to the front of the engine and grab this open go down there let it go and now we are gonna change positions and same thing the first ring we got the ladder right in here and put it in there open there you go so the first ring is kind of tight um, I mean they it moves and everything but it's very very tight and um, but yeah that's how we do it I'm gonna do on the other two and call it good All right, the last ring of the last piston. It took me 20 minutes, probably. If, I guess uh, it takes more time to set up the camera and do all that stuff than actually, than do the actual work there you go all of them set nice and ready so i hope this video helps you i hope you're having fun watching me doing this kind of stuff um i do this because i like and because it became my hobby uh building stuff uh, i don't know if you've seen but i built this uh mitsubishi eclipse a bunch of videos about it this engine is for my drift car i have another bmw on my backyard just waiting for my plans which could be uh, become another drift car or i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do with that yet but uh yeah so there's a bunch a bunch of videos here that i'm gonna make uh to put that engine together so the next ones will be putting those guys here which are the ones that i just assembled uh putting it in the uh installing in the engine and tying the crankshaft i also have the bearings here so this is going to be the next video i'm not sure sure if i'm going to do that right now but you're not going to watch that right now anyway so consider subscribing leave me a comment if you uh, think that I should have done better or what do you think about all of this uh, suggestions I always uh, read them and I also uh, answer and respond to all of them uh, answer and responding is the same thing I don't know why I say that but anyway all right guys you know how it goes at the end right I'll see you on the next video I mean, he said, Mick, that is...